Hello, happy Tuesday. Uh, tonight we're going to talk about summer fun and how it involves the nervous system and the brain, and especially the muscles too. But we'll get into it. So again, I'm Dr. Chip at Natural Health, and we will be focusing again on the summer on summer fun and how really it affects the body and the mind and the brain in a very healthy way. So what are we talking about summer fun? Well, again, we're talking about kind of recreation, play, um, activity, um, getting outside, um, and good sunlight. Now we'll talk briefly about getting outside and sunlight and why that's important, and then we'll finish with the recreation and play. So nervous system benefits outside, getting outside and sunlight. When you get outside, you're able to get out of the, the confinements of buildings, you're able to kind of breathe in fresh air, um, kind of really see kind of general areas, stop focusing on uh, different things with the eyes, but really just help your body to uh, get an open sense. And then dealing with sunlight, again, it's always important to get sunlight at least every day, if you can, just a little bit. But at least every week again we get back into our houses we drive to work in cars we we get into the uh, our buildings or our businesses we stay in there uh, we eat lunch in another building we get back in our car we get into back home again we don't get enough sunlight throughout the day and sunlight is so important especially in these times again with you would say the um, stimulation of vitamin d getting everything working in our bodies to where our immune systems are built up. But again, sunlight has been uh, just very calming for the nervous system in general. Again, when you stand outside, you, you feel the sun on your skin, on your face. It's a very calming effect. It can, help, it can help the brain to really neutralize any stress throughout the day. And it doesn't take that much, five, 10 minutes. You can go out for a little walk outside when you're kind of um, on a lunch break or uh, maybe even a break throughout your work um, but it's always good to find a little time throughout our busy lives to get some kind of um, enjoyment of the sunlight or uh, getting outside in general again when we overstress our brains and our nervous systems our bodies that's what leads to chronic stress which will lead to further illnesses but when we allow ourselves even small breaks throughout the day five ten minutes getting that efficient uh, time outside. Um, and it can be just something simple, walking in your backyard or anything. But getting that sunlight, that, again, it's gonna help, help really to uh, not only really help the nervous system to calm, help the brain to calm down and relax, but it's, it's good for your skin in general. I think we've been uh, thinking that sunlight is bad, but sunlight has always been good. It's been, we've been in sunlight for years and years, centuries, millennia. Um, but again, a lot or too much of one thing is always bad. Again, you could drink too much water and that could be bad for you. But some people are better with sunlight than others. But again, just know, know your body and know how you uh, adapt and react to sunlight. But it's always good to get some, a little, at least a little bit or some uh, throughout the day or throughout the week. So nervous system benefits and how it kind of relates to the muscles of our body. Now, when we um, do different activities such as um, working or uh, business, kind of construction, even working out, exercises, we, we tend to focus a lot on exercise. We focus on uh, we have to do this a certain way or we um, have to work this certain muscle or um, we have to do the job uh, a, a certain way. We're, we're doing the same thing over days and weeks and months. But when we do something that's fun, something that we don't need or necessarily have to do, but we want to do, it really helps our muscles be activated in different ways that's very good for our bodies. It actually helps our bodies to be able to adapt to different other stress throughout our lives. So uh, little examples of what can be fun um, and can help us help our muscles and our bodies to move is different sports. Um, it could be you know, tennis, it could be any other recreation, it could be bowling, for example. Um, it could be um, a lot of different things, croquet, if you want, if that's your, if that's your gig. But um, just try to think of some fun things that you can do. Um, it could be outside, inside, um, but something that really helps the muscles interact in a way that's not so uh, business or exercise-like. 
again, that's why these things are so nice is that if we like to do it, if we enjoy doing it, we have a different mindset about it. Our intention is different. It's not that, oh, I got to drag myself to do this certain task. Um, that can be kind of um, not very good for your body in general. It kind of, it can kind of feel like work and kind of feel like a job unless you love your job and that's what you, sh that's always great. Um, but doing something different outside of what you new normally do throughout the week um, can really help the body and the muscles to be activated in a different way. And such as walking, running, hiking, biking, again, these are good exercises to do, but it's good to also enjoy what you're doing. So again, walking or running, enjoy the scenery, enjoy maybe a nice you know, book on tape or enjoy the music that you're listening to or anything like that. Just have fun with it. It actually really activates the muscles in different ways. That's very relaxing for the body. Um, and then hiking and biking, of course, is they're, they're all good exercises. But even with those, is we tend to get kind of engrossed in this idea that we have to do 20 to 30 minutes of cardio. We have to work out heavy weights. We have to do all these little different things. And that makes it seem like it's work. It's a job. But why don't we go kind of more of a focus of enjoying what we want to do and you don't have to do these things everybody has their different um, exercises they like to do um, some could like tai chi some can do uh, kickboxing and uh, they're just different little avenues there but it's good to enjoy and to learn um, what you're doing and to have fun with it so the nervous system benefits and how it kind of relates to the mind or the brain now, a lot of times that kind of throughout our days, um, uh, business, work, uh, could be a lot of things going on in our, in our busy lives and we get stressed out and we really get in our heads a lot. And so if you think about kind of the, the different um, kind of things in, in social life, like um, am I saying the right things to people? Am I, am I going to offend any people? Or did I say the right thing on Facebook? Or um, how, how, am I, how is my business doing? Again, it's good to plan and uh, plan for the future and know uh, what to do. But again, we are in our minds too much. And when we keep thinking um, over and over and not really help our bodies to relax, that, that overthinking, that overanalyzing, it can actually kind of be like a, a parasite for our bodies. It can actually rob our energy away from us and um, deplete the energy. So again, we go back into that chronic illness. Again, when we have high energy, we're able to kind of block out any um, illnesses or, or viruses, uh, bacteria, any of those different things, and we're able to have good energy throughout the day. So if it feels like kind of at the end of the day that you're just tired and sluggish and, you, and you've been like overworked, but you really haven't moved that much, again, you've been in your head a lot. It means you've been thinking a lot, a lot, and that now you're kind of, kind of depleted a little bit. And so that's kind of why I bring up that the parasite, kind of be parasitic, is that it's robbing the energy from you. But that's why having some summer fun or getting outside or anything like that is good for our bodies. It gets us out of our thinking pattern and gets us more into just doing something, just having fun with it, being very present there and just enjoying what we're doing in the moment. And so it doesn't have to be um, a sports related thing, a physically moving thing, um, um, exercise or anything like that. It can be, you know, games. It can be video games if you like that. Again, not to uh, overdo anything, not to be stimulated with too much screen activity or anything like that. But yeah, games, uh, movies, reading books, anything like that, that it's not so much that you're thinking critically about something, but it could be that you enjoy reading or you enjoy the movie, you're enjoying the experiencing of it. Um, and so that's very, actually, that's very calming to the nervous system. And again, that brings back that energy. Uh, so again, it's never great to overanalyze anything, but a good, to, good, good to plan to make sure that you're doing the right things, but take some breaks, take some breaks for your mind and body so that you get back that energy um, and you're able to um, have fun. Um, and really, it's, it can go throughout the day too, is not to only enjoy things that we do kind of in the uh, summertime, in the sunlight, or anything like that. It could be like the exercising or sports. But try to practice on enjoying what you're doing, um, even in work, even in business. Um, and when you get to that point when you're having fun most of the time, you'll start to notice that at the end of the day, 
you're actually having a good amount of energy. You don't feel depleted. You don't feel like you're, you have to get much sleep or anything. It just feels like you're ready to take on another day or you're excited to, and you, now you have enough energy to actually go play with maybe kids or grandkids or, or meet up with some uh, friends from um, other places and family. So that's always good to do. And again, we're just making sure that these are different ways to stay healthy. And they're small things or little things that we don't really think about, but they're very good, uh, important things that we need to do um, either every day or every week. So I hope, uh, I hope you gain some now, uh, valuable information. Um, again, tomorrow will be uh, Eddie's talk, uh, June 22nd at six, and he'll be kind of going over other aspects of summer fun. Uh, and then again, next week is the importance of sea salt, so stay tuned for that. Again, you can always find us on um, Instagram and Facebook at Natural Health Quincy IL, uh, YouTube and Brideon at Natural Health Quincy. Uh, our number is 217-228-2040. Um, we're located at 2000 Jefferson Street. And uh, again, we always want to help. We want to make sure that you know we're we're able to serve our community in good ways and give you valuable information. Um, any questions, uh, go ahead and type any comments in the, the section there. But uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one.